The following presentation is based on one of the over 600 idea sheets created by teachers for teachers for RAFT, Resource Area for Teaching. RAFT idea sheets are a free resource for teachers and available at any RAFT location. They're also available online at raftsac.org. Raft idea sheets reference various content and grade level standards and are all aligned to address California content standards ranging from grades pre-K through 12. Standards in your state may vary, but Raft lessons are easily adaptable and often applicable to additional subject areas and grade levels. If you've downloaded the Raft idea sheet online, you'll find your sheet includes the following sections to guide you through the activity. Topics, materials list, this activity can be used to teach, assembly, to do and notice, the science behind the activity, taking it further, and web resources. Terms in this activity, frequency, in music, the number of cycles per second of a sound wave. Vibration, the forced mechanical oscillation of an object. Resonate, the intensification and prolongation of a musical tone produced by vibration. Pitch, the higher or lower nature of sound based on the frequency of vibration. Membrane, a thin flexible layer of material. This video is divided into multiple sections an overview, what you're watching now, the actual demonstration of the lesson, including a complete materials list, and taking it further, showing some real-life applications for the concepts presented. Have you ever heard the buzzing of a bumblebee flying too close to your head? Or how about the high-pitched whine of a mosquito flying right next to your ear? What you're hearing is the vibrations of their wings pushing air very, very fast. This tuning fork acts like an insect's wings. It vibrates very fast and you can hear a very low tone and see the fork vibrating. I'm Dave Traversi and today we'll build a raft kit called Glovophone, a musical instrument where you'll be able to recreate the buzz of a bumblebee, the high-pitched whine of a mosquito, and many other sounds as well. The Glovophone that we're going to build looks like this. Now the word glovophone is kind of a play on words because if you talk to a musician, they have names for the different types of instruments. Those instruments that have a vibrating membrane like this are called membranophones. Any instrument that you blow into is called an idiophone. To build this instrument, we'll need a tube, a straw, a latex glove, some rubber bands, scissors, and tape. It starts by inserting the glove into the end of the tube, all the way down and in, just leaving the edge sticking out. Then you're going to take a rubber band and you're going to make several wraps so it's very, very tight. Then you blow into the end of the tube so that the glove pops out. From there, we're going to want to find the index finger and just cut off the very tip of it. Next, you insert, insert a straw into the finger, about an inch or so, and then we're going to tape some tape and make a very tight seal. I think it's important to know that the tighter the seal here, the better your instrument will play. So take your time and do a really good job. And there we have it, the Glovophone. The first thing you want to do to play it is to puff some air into the glove. Then you want to stretch the membrane nice and tight and blow. Let's do that again. What's happening is that you are forcing this membrane to vibrate very, very fast. 
the membrane is pushing on all of the air that's inside the tube and the air is rushing out the back of the tube for everyone to hear. Now I can take this idea and change it a little bit. I have a smaller one here that's been constructed exactly the same way. When I blow into this, it will vibrate the membrane, but it will also vibrate less air. The next thing you do is look around the house for any tubes that you can find. I went out into the garage and found a very large tube from a shop vac, but wrapping paper tubes or paper towel tubes, they could work as well. The sound that's being produced by the large tube is different than the sound from the medium-sized tube. And the sound from the small tube because they're vibrating at different frequencies. The faster the membrane vibrates, the higher the frequency and the higher the pitch of the note. To take this a little further, you could make an instrument and try to tune it or try to create multiple notes by cutting holes. This tube will produce a certain sound, and then if I cut a hole into it, air will escape out of the hole because it resonates different inside the tube. <laughs> Music teachers might want to challenge your students to make a glovophone that is actually in tune so that you and your classmates can play a song. And remember, there's lots of ideas on your raft idea sheet for you to think about and discuss with your classmates. Mm -hmm.